Hi dear students, welcome back for my video. And in this video, I'm going to make you an excellent topic, how to develop your grasping power, how to develop your understanding capacity, and how to improve your comprehension. Grasping power. What is grasping power? Let's take a powerful magnet. A powerful magnet can attract anything to it because it is called powerful. So the difference between a powerful magnet and a not so powerful magnet. A powerful magnet attracts everything to it. Very similarly, if you have got a powerful grasping ability or excellent grasping power, you can grasp, you can attract, you can understand, you can comprehend any subject which has been taught to you by your class teachers. Say some students find it difficult to understand what your class teacher is saying or, or explaining to you in classroom. Or even if you study the topic for several times, you find it boring, difficult, you're not able to understand it properly. What's the reason? The reason is your poor grasping power in the classroom. Okay, now how to overcome this problem and how to instantly develop your grasping power. I'm Rakesh Chandra Mohan, memory trainer and study skill expert since last 22 years for Mysore Academy of Excellence. And I have trained over 22,000 students and have helped them overcome this problem of grasping power. Okay, you might have heard your parents saying, see, that boy is having excellent grasping power, but my son, my daughter, he cannot grasp that much faster than he does. What is the reason? It's because he's very intelligent, he's very brilliant, that's why he can grasp. No, it is not like that. All bright students, all smart students, what they do is they follow this simple technique. And even if you follow this simple technique, which I'm going to tell you now, even you can have an excellent grasping power right from today itself, right from now itself. Apply this technique from today itself and start from tomorrow and see whatever has been taught by your class teacher, you understand 10 times much better than what you have been able to understand before. Are you ready? Are you interested to learn this technique? Yes? So listen, the technique is called pre-reading. Pre-reading, P-R-E. R-E-A-D-I-A-G, pre-reading. Okay, I'll give you an example how to understand this technique. Say, before a movie is released, uh, before a movie is released, what they do, what the producers and directors will do, they will release a trailer, right? They will release a trailer for 30 seconds to two minutes. A two and a half hour movie, completely they will show you in just 30 seconds to one or two minutes. That is called a trailer. So what's a trailer consist of? all small actions, small comedies, the small here and there, uh, dialogues, small almost as part of the song, the part of actions, some part of emotions, okay, everything, all, imagine there are 5,000 scenes in the movie, in the 5,000 scenes, they'll take out around 15 scenes from the movie and they'll club together and they'll put a bag, very good background music and they'll show it to you. When you watch that movie, Oh, what an action, what a song, what a comedy, what a dialogue, a smartness of the actor and actress, dress code, background, everything will get impressed. You get automatically interested in that movie. You will have to watch that movie. You're waiting for that movie. You can't wait when the movie is going to be released. You want to watch that movie first day for sure, right? This is how the film industry creates interest in watching the movie. And that's how the movie becomes a blockbuster success. Very similarly, if you want to master this subject which has been taught in your classroom, you have to create a reels, you have to create a trailer, and that is called pre-reading. So what is pre-reading? You have to do this every morning before you go to school or college. Say, morning you get up at six o'clock on Monday, daily this is just, uh, time you get up, just to take 15 minutes time, 15 minutes time that's all. You open your timetable, and your first period, what is the first period? Science. Second period is English. Third period is mathematics. Fourth period is history. Fifth period is Sanskrit. Sixth period is, okay, a sport. And last period will be Hindi. Okay, you know the timetable and you know which topic your teacher is going to do. You're aware of that also because your teacher has told you that before. Now, take out the first period in science, what your teacher is going to teach you. Okay, today she's going to teach you about photosynthesis. So open the textbook in your photosynthesis and go through the topics. Simply take a pencil or a pen, simply scan. If you come across a new words, new, new words will be marked in bold, italic, 
you can so go through the word say the chlorophyll it's a new word for you write the underline highlight the chlorophyll memorize the spelling of the word chlorophyll okay know the meaning of the word chlorophyll mitochondria green all the keywords then come across this equation of photosynthesis okay go through the equation what are the reactants and what are the products and if there is a diagram go to diagram so just become very familiar with the topic of photosynthesis you know the words you know the topic you know how many theory you know the diagram you know the equation and what type of questions will come from photosynthesis so they'll ask you define photosynthesis or explain photosynthesis with an example or a diagram then ask you a question it can be a one mark question, it can be a three marks question, it can be a five mark question, or it can be a multiple choice question, or it can be fill up the blanks, or it can be match the following. So you know what your teacher is going to teach you in classroom, you know what kind of questions will be asked from photosynthesis, and you're aware of it. Do the same thing for all the topics which will be taught in today's school periods. So you are aware. Before going to classroom itself, you are aware what you're going to learn, what your teacher is going to speak on what topic, what word she is going to use. So you are aware of that. So the movie trailer was there early in the mem your memory. So photosynthesis topics are already familiar within your mind. So when you go and sit in a classroom, your teacher starts explaining about photosynthesis. Now, will you be able to understand easily or not? Because you're already familiar with the topic, what type of words your teacher is going to use, you'll understand 10 times better. And this is called grasping power. Ali has learned this in a classroom, uh, home, in a classroom, you're, uh, just like you're feeling you're revising, you already heard this topic before and you're learning it. So you'll be able to understand very easily, you'll be able to remember that and it saves you a lot of time for you when you go home in the evening for studying the topic. Instead of studying for one hour, you can finish the topic in just 10 minutes. So how much time? 50 minutes of your valuable time will be saved for studying science just by spending five minutes in the morning for science. Say two to three minutes for pre-reading one, one topic, for five to six topics, what they will be taught in school. In mathematics, they're going to teach you about, say, uh, geometry. In geometry, she's going to teach you about rectangles. So what are the area of rectangle? What are the, the formula for rectangle? What's the perimeter of the rectangle? Okay, what are the examples given? What are the problems are given? Simply go through it. You understand, man. It's a simple and excellent technique to develop your grasping power pre-reading technique. Do this every day. Actually, pre-reading is called a planning technique. A planning. Before you go to school, you study that, you planned it, and you are going to sit and you understand. An excellent tool. You do this from tomorrow. After one week, you comment, you comment on me whether this technique has helped you or not. And if you want more solutions, if you're finding any problems with understanding the subjects, please comment, ask me, I'll help you by commenting, giving you solutions for that. If you like this video, please subscribe this video, share this video with as many people as possible, developing grasping power with pre-reading technique. Thank you for watching for this video and have a nice day.